Okie dokes. Hello everybody of YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Um, I'm in the shade 4N2 Spiced Sand. I got this a long time ago but I haven't done a review on this channel. I think I did a review on my other channel but I wanted to do one on here because I've worn this foundation I think twice and it's expensive. I got this at Macy's so it was, it was even more money with tax. Um, so it says double wear staying place makeup for all skin types. 15 hour staying power. Looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, non-stop activity. Won't change color, smudge or come off on clothes. Lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's long wear. Medium up. Medium up. Jeez Louise. Medium, buildable coverage, won't clog pour, pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist test, dermatologist, and ophthalmologist tested, jeez. Warning, keep out of eye, okay, yeah, whatever, we don't need to read all of that. So, uh, the only thing I do not, I still have it in the freaking package. Because I'm like, I feel it's like it's, it's that fancy of a product that it needs to stay in the package. I love the packaging. It's like glass. The only thing I don't like about this is it does not have a pump. And I hate foundations that don't have a pump. Especially when you're paying that much money for them. The color range is really good. I mean, as far as what I saw at Macy's. Now at like Sephora, it's probably not. So we are going to, we're not going to prime the face or nothing. I was going to prime the face, but we're just going to apply this. And yeah, see, I don't like foundations where you have to pour it on your hand. Oh, fanab. I've already tried this foundation, let's just put it that way, and I do like it. So <laughs> I just wanted to do a review on this channel because I have not and then I'm going to do a video on how I clean my brushes because they desperately need to be cleaned right now and I'm just using a new I had to get a new one because the other one was like getting all I have like six of these and they take a while to clean So I'm not going to put any concealer on or nothing like that. Actually, I probably will because I'm filming another video after this. But this foundation, I wore it when we were at Disney World. Um, when it was the summer, when it was like really, really, really hot out. And it, it did last all day. It did not come off. It stayed in place, didn't rub off on clothes did exactly what it said so I'm just telling you ahead of time that it is a really good foundation if you're in the market for an amazing foundation that will last on you all day long and won't go anywhere and won't budge and won't ruin your clothing won't do anything like that like a nighttime foundation if you're going out or something and you want great coverage this is a good foundation for that like if I was going out or something date night I would wear this so you guys can see the coverage for yourselves it is amazing coverage I'm not gonna bring it down to my neck I mean you can go in with as many layers as you want I just like to do one layer of foundation that's just how I am but I believe this I don't remember how much this cost I think it was like I don't know, I want to say 50 something dollars. Um, so, I mean, Estee Lauder, come on, it's expensive. But as far as it does look fresh and flawless, and 15 hours it does stay on. As you guys can tell right here, it is amazing coverage and it matches my skin to perfection right now because I'm still tan, obviously, because I live in Florida. But if you want to like do two or three layers, go for it, shoot up to you it's your your face I only do one layer of a liquid foundation any foundation for that matter because I just think the more foundation you wear like pile on top of your face the more pimples and breakouts you're gonna get so 
but this is a great foundation. The price is a little high up there, but it is worth it. Um, I wouldn't go wasting my money on like Makeup Forever, Kat Von D. If you want a good foundation that's full coverage and will last all day, pick this one up. So that's like my mini review and take on that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and film my um, how I clean my brushes video. So this is a short but sweet review and sometimes those are good videos um, but I just wanted to show you guys this because I've had it for so long. Um, it is an amazing foundation. Love it. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, yeah. And look at the coverage. You can see for yourself. So you can go in with another layer if you wanted to but it did cover up like some of my bags under my eyes with just one layer. So and some like beauty marks that I have on my face. It did cover them up, so yeah. If you want a good foundation, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And if you're my skin type, skin tone, I would get Spiced Sand. This is what I was matched to, and they did a pretty damn good job matching me to this foundation. So, yep, I got mine at Macy's. You can get it at Sephora, you can get it at a CCO, any place that sells Estee Lauder. Um, I would recommend getting it um, off a halt look or something where you can get a discount on it because when I went to Macy's, this was quite expensive. So, yeah, that's my review. Great foundation. Love it. Give it give it a, out of a 1 out of a 10, I give it a 10. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little review on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I am not going to set it, nothing like that. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and do um, how I clean my brushes. So thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.